Hello everyone and welcome to Penum EDU and I'm back with another vocabulary session for you guys as said. So this is an everyday session and I hope you guys don't miss single session guys because here we give you word by word explanation of the article along with the words that are important which need which 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 are needed to be understood to comprehend the text given. So without wasting time let's begin with today's article. The article for today hits as the shade of grey on FATF's mandated tasks. So mandated, ta if you are aware of this is financial action task force. What's that? This is financial action task force. And what is on the mandated task? Mandated here is used as an adjective. Task is the noun subject for which mandated has been used. So these tasks are said to be mandated. So what do we mean by mandated? We mean something that is authorized. All right, which has been provided, which has been given to someone to, to perform a duty or task assigned to someone. So you can either say authorized or you can also say assigned. All right. So that will be FATF's mandated tasks. Now, what is shade of grey? Why are we saying this? Shade of grey, which means there's some sort of confusion. Then, see, we say black or white. It's clear. It's yes or no, right? Black or white. Maybe no, maybe yes. But this is grey. There is some confusion. So what is the confusion? We would now discuss in the article and we will come to know. Pakistan has little option but to complete its FATF mandated tasks in the next four months. Now it says that Pakistan has little option which means it does not have any other option. Little option, guys please remember this, little as in when it's used as an adjective it means almost nothing. So it's almost nothing. So there's nothing to that Pakistan can do. It just has the option to fulfill or to live up to mandated tasks in the coming four months. The decision by the Paris-based watchdog. Paris-based watchdog. Watchdog, guys, is a noun, which means a person or an organization which monitors something or someone kisi ko monitor karte hai ya kisi cheez ko monitor us par like us par nazar rakhte hai so that a watchdog so the paris based watchdog that is financial action task force as i said this is f a t f financial action task force now this is important when it comes to current affairs perspective uh, if you ask if you ask me then i can give you the i can put forward this question that uh, the financial or what, which is the paris based watchdog for uh, this uh, pakistan's decision or pakistan's uh, mandated tasks that is FATF or financial action task force so it can be asked like who the paris based organization Okay, so you, you will have to come up with the answer that it's FATF. So this question can be put up. You guys have to be up with this. Last week, to retain Pakistan on its grey list has clearly disappointed the Imran Khan government. So now there's some confusion we are talking about. So the grey list is, so the shade of grey is because of the grey list that FATF has released and Pakistan is in its grey list. Now, what is this grey list about? We would now come to know. His cabinet had projected confidence that the country would be taken off the grey list. Like he, he has given this confidence. He has tried to take people in confidence that his government will try its best and will definitely bring the or uh, will take off the name of its uh, country from the grey list they would not be there anymore but how this is going to happen though see promises are always made if you talk about imran khan this um, this leader of uh, pakistan he always makes promises but does he ever live up to these promises probably like i would say there's a little opportunity or there are little or i would say there are few options when he would have done so 
So the same goes here. He has promised that he would take off the country country's name from the grey list. Monitor jurisdictions. Monitor jurisdictions on terror financing and money laundering activities. Mo it's now see jurisdiction is now all right. It is a sort of authority or right or ruling. Okay, ruling in terms of, for example, when it, like a court gives a decision making a decision right so that is jurisdiction so here also the he monitored jurisdiction terror financing and money laundering so there would be strict actions taken or decisions or uh, i would say a verdict given against them so it is a kind of verdict or decision taken by the court having been cleared on 21 of the 27 mandated action points Pakistan will now face the international strictures on its market. Strictures, what is strictures? I'm going to explain you. It's a noun. Let me write the meaning once I clear off the screen. Alright, so we're talking about strictures now. The Pakistan will have to face these international strictures. Stricture is a noun which means a restriction or a ban. Alright, ka ka rukawad ya rok. Uh, strictures lagai jayenge. There will be strict action taken against on its market and on its ability to procure loans until the next FATF plenary in February. Plenary is a meeting. Plenary is noun which means a meeting, okay, or a gathering. So yahan par ek tarikhe ka ye jo gathering hai, it's a meeting. The people come together, okay. And Bethak. What is it? You can say Bethak. Just make the officials or yeah, formal jo ek hoti hai. formal meeting. Formal jo hoti hai of FATF. So it says that once uh, the next FATF uh, plenary is there like until February 2021, Pakistan cannot procure any loans from the market, international market. By which time it is expected to complete the six pending issues. So there were 27 mandated actions out of which 21 have been completed. There are six that are still left. So FATF wants that Pakistan completes these six mandated tasks in the remaining four months and then it would further talk to it of then further FATF would uh, remove these uh, restrictions that have been imposed or probably are being imposed. Moving ahead, it has been said, a bigger problem for Islamabad was that Turkey was the only other country in the 39 member FATF to push for Pakistan to be let off by making a suggestion that the last six points be cleared by an on-site visit by an FATF team. Now you see, Turkey came in support of Pakistan. So, so this was a bigger problem for Islamabad. Why was this a bigger problem? I mean, it has been explained further, but Turkey uh, suggested that the six problems or the six mandated tasks that are still left to be delivered, to be uh, performed, to be performed or delivered. So what can, what can, uh, FATM do it can have an on-site visit it can have an on-site visit and the team can resolve it then and there so now Turkey coming in uh, support of Pakistan the proposal was dropped when even other traditional backers of Pakistan backer backer is a noun which means a supporter ठीक है जो लोग सपोर्ट करते हैं जो लोग सहायक होते हैं ठीक है सपोर्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान सिटी चाइना सऊदी अरब एंड मलेशिया डिड नॉट सपोर्ट इट सो दिस आइडिया वाज ड्रॉप और दिस सजेशन वाज कॉल्ड ऑफ और द सजेशन मेड बाय टर्की व्हेन द अदर सपोर्टर्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान डिड नॉट एक्सेप्ट और डिड नॉट सपोर्ट इट दे डिड नॉट सपोर्ट Clearly, Pakistan has little option but to complete its tasks in the next four months, which include more action against UNSC banned terrorists and terror groups, number one, 
action against charitable organizations non profit linked to these banned entities now particular banned entities wherein uh, a few of charitable organizations are linked to they do have to be taken action against them terror groups and terrorists like you have to work on unsc banned terrorists and the terror groups next tracing fugitive terrorists now fugitive here has been used as an adjective which means quickly disappearing quickly disappearing which means kitna ek acha gayab ho jana achanak se so it's fleeting it's temporary so it's it's like quick just uh, quickly disappearing jo ki terrorists hain jo ki gayab ho jate hain jaldi aasani se so you have to trace those terrorists and pursuing convictions pursuing convictions against them conviction here see do conviction is a noun and conviction means a belief okay something that you believe uh, from your heart and soul that is conviction here conviction has been used as to pursue conviction against them them here is used for the fugitive terrorist and conviction against them means a legal proceeding against them or a verdict or a particular decision given against them you have to come up and give a sort of strict verdict and a and a clear verdict against these terrorists now next comes revising the list of banned entities under the anti terrorism act to reflect all those banned by the unsc so it has also asked to come up with a fresh list or a revised list of the anti terrorism act jo jo banned hai jo entities under this act so that they can have reflection of all these banned uh, entities by the unsc and cracking down on other channels of terror financing through narcotics and smuggling so if we, there are uh, in ways where you no know, there are uh, places or organizations which are channeling terror financing which are channeling terror financing through narcotics or smuggling it too has to be controlled or as these are the six remaining mandated tasks and pakistan might take much longer time than four months but it has to complete it moving ahead the writer says for those in new delhi watching the outcome of the fatf decision there are some broader dividends to consider from this process now what are broader dividends or broader uh, decisions or broader conclusions to begin with the fact that the fatf has retained pakistan on the gray list for the third time this year Let's see remember this is the third time this year so why is in pakistan working on it and not automatically downgrade it to blacklist downgrade downgrade is a verb which means to take a line to lower kisi cheez ko niche karna ya phir aur uski uchchata ko उच्चता को कम करना कहते ना इम्पोर्टेंस और वैल्यू को कम करना तो उच्चता को कम करना तो so, uh, अभी उन्होंने थर्ड टाइम एफ एच एफ हैज प्लेस पाकिस्तान एन ग्रे लिस्ट एंड इट हैज नॉट ऑटोमेटिकली और डॉन नॉट डिलिबरेटली प्लेस इट टू द ब्लैक लिस्ट दो इट कुड हैव डन इट बिकॉज इट्स द थर्ड टाइम दैट पाकिस्तान हैज बिन अनेबल टू लिव अप टू दी टास्क असाइन when its deadline for action ended in september 2019 now just imagine deadline ended in september 2019 and until now it's 2020 nothing has been done like pakistan is not able to fulfill the task has ensured the pressure has continued to make pakistan accountable on terror accountable responsible or jawabdari dene ke layak the khan government has been forced to make a real legislative push to bring pakistani anti terror laws in line with international standards while at least for the interim also ensuring sufficient pressure on groups such as the let and jem 
that target India to refrain from public comments and publicly raising funds. So it's like the pressure. The pressure has been continuously built up for Pakistan to live up to international standards and also against other uh, groups uh, like LET and JM, which also work. Um, uh, like that which also target India so it, it doesn't want any questions to be put up against it so it has uh, targeted other groups as well meanwhile Pakistan supports to the US led Afghan process and talks with the Taliban are crucial to the peace process and the FATF process has made Islamabad more amenable to Afghanistan amenable that is friendly it's an adjective that means close or friendly so because of all this because of FATF uh, process Islamabad is close to Afghanistan ke, wherein uh, Pakistan is supporting the US for the uh, this uh, uh, US led Afghan process wherein it is trying to uh, have a talk with Taliban to attain peace there so if you see now Islamabad supporting Afghanistan, Pakistan with the US, so the things are that is the reason it says that Islamabad is now in dubious state. Moving ahead, the writer says it remains to be seen if the actions it takes will permanently change Pakistan's course in supporting and sheltering cross-border terror groups. Now they say that it remains to be seen. I mean, like it, it is pending like things are not certain whether this will happen or not but it, it remains to be seen if the actions it takes will permanently change pakistan's course in supporting and sheltering cross-border terror groups like will it uh, will pakistan still support the terror groups or it will change its its route it will change its usual route when it used to support these groups and now it will not support it will end it will uh, it will uh, i would say withdraw the support that it gives to these terror groups as of now india's eventual goal is not just in stopping attacks by these groups but for pakistan to fully dismantle the infrastructure dismantle it's a word which means to break to destroy okay that is nasht karna ya kisi cheez ko khatam karna so what is it expecting it is expecting that pakistan should dismantle the infrastructure of terror it should completely destroy it it should completely break this uh, infrastructure of terror that is there in the country in the understanding that it is in Pakistan's own interest to do so, that they should understand that if they, if the country does it, if Pakistan does it, it should understand that it would be beneficial for its own interest. It would be beneficial for the country itself because the terrorism, see, terrorism is something that is of major loss. It causes major loss to the host country as well as to other nations. So Pakistan has been a host to terrorists for a long span of time, for years, for ages, right? So at present, if it even since it has been always suggested to end this or to dismantle the infrastructure of terror, but Pakistan does not abide by it or does not abide to the this particular statement or suggestion if it does it it's beneficial for its own interest it is hoped that the prolonged FATF process prolonged which means it's an adjective which means long or lengthy okay stretched you say I'm getting a lamba process will enable this realization in Islamabad probably it says that Islamabad might realize it if not Pakistan then Islamabad might realize at this point after the prolonged FATF process so even if Islamabad realizes it's again a uh, bit of good okay it's of another benefit to us and it would be beneficial to all the countries in the nation so let's ha let's see what happens, what how and uh, where Pakistan will live up to FATF's FATF's 
pointers and statements and will live up to the mandated tasks that have been assigned to the tasks assigned to Pakistan. Let's see how long will it take. All right. So this was the entire article for today learners. The list of the word is right there on the site. Go to the link in the description and get to the list of the words. Start practicing the sentence antonyms and example sentences shared with you right there. Do not forget to hit the like button to the video and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to the channel for more such sessions. Thank you so much.